The heat, the humidity, we have a few things to talk about in the tropics, so we'll get to all that in a little bit. But first, kind of the big things that we're looking at, most of our rivers north of the lake are either kind of steady or some of them dropping off really fast at this point. So those are good things. Hot and sticky today, and then it will be a little less humid as we get into the weekend. And looking at the river forecast really quickly, only the Pearl is sort of steadily rising right now, but only minor flooding is forecast. It might be until next week that it stays kind of high-ish and then it begins to fall maybe late in the week uh, next week. Other ones, again, the Chifuncta, the Boca Falaya, dropping very rapidly now. The Tangipahoa is dropping upriver, but at Robert, it's still about steady. It's seeing really some of the highest, the major flooding, and it looks like even at Robert, it should start falling maybe sometime later tonight or more probable perhaps tomorrow and Friday. And then the Boca Chita also falling with minor flooding forecast there. So that situation should be improving for those of you seeing those high river levels on the North Shore. Temperatures right now, who 89 at Kenner 92 at Seidel. And of course we do have a lot of humidity, so we're seeing these feels like temperatures. Unfortunately for people without power surging into the triple digits for a lot of spots. Now there are a couple of kind of cooling showers and I know in the second part of the day yesterday we had some storms around New Orleans that actually helped with the heat a little bit for the evening. But notice that we do have some of these happening as we speak. Some of these showers and storms kind of in the wake of Ida just kind of scattered scattered about, especially farther south, and there could be some brief heavy rain. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe a quick uh, flash flood warning or something issued later, just kind of uh, precautionary in case there's a bit of minor flooding, but at least they are moving. So we knew we'd have some scattered rain even after Ida left, and here is what's left of Ida, a post-tropical system, but there is a flooding threat across the northeast. We have some tornado watch boxes in parts of the east coast, and so Ida still, even as as a non hurricane and non major hurricane like when we had Ida uh, is still bringing some significant weather off to the northeast. So today we'll say a pretty decent chance for a few of these scattered downpours, high temperatures in the lower 90s. This is by this afternoon and then this evening you can see some rain about maybe even north of the lake too. And then into tomorrow we still have a decent chance on Thursday for a few spotty or scattered showers. But then looking at our upper pattern, we're going to see that low drifting away from us and drier air, slightly drier air filtering in for the weekend. So when we look at our dew point scale, hot and humid kind of conditions, the really high humidity is oppressive uh, range above 70 for the dew point temperatures, but models have been indicating our dew points falling into maybe the middle to upper 60s uh, for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So that wouldn't be too bad, at least a little bit of help uh, for those of us without power. Hopefully, hopefully more people by then as we keep uh, hearing will have more power anyway. But our tropical outlook, we have a couple things happening. The new thing is Tropical Storm Larry, which will likely soon become a major hurricane. Kate is kind of fizzling out here and then of course the post uh, tropical Ida and then we also have this one additional area that we've been talking about but uh, most models first of all it has a low chance of development and most models are kind of bringing it into the Central America and kind of having it dissipate. So let me show you that one really quick. It's Invest 91 now, really not very organized. Most of the rain is kind of on the northern fringe. And so again, it's going to kind of take this path. Now notice a lot of models, including some pretty good hurricane models, are bringing it just straight into Central America and just keeping it weak. A couple try to bring it into Mexico. One, you can see they're meandering, making it meander into the Bay of Campeche. So we'll watch it, but it's not a threat for us right now. And then you might be interested in Larry, of course, we're used to seeing big storms form out near Africa and sometimes come all the way into the Caribbean Sea. But in Larry's case, there's a big high pressure area here, and so it looks like it's going to be curving northward kind of ahead of that sort of danger area for um, land areas around the Caribbean and eventually toward the US and Central America and so forth. So this is Tropical Storm Larry's forecast path. And again, just looking at the models, even a couple days ago, they were showing maybe Cat 3 if you have it reaching Cat 4 status. But again, we are anticipating that more northward curve. So we'll keep our eye on it. Of course, we'll watch it. It's a tropical storm right now, but we are thinking that would be Larry's path.
And just looking quickly at those hurricane season names, look at this. We've already made it to Larry 12 storms in and the forecast for this season is 15 to 21 named storms. So that would be somewhere between Odette and Wanda. So you think about not even at the peak of hurricane season yet, which is September 10th. But again, if we see those forecasts hold, I guess we only have a few more storms to go. You can see uh, last year at this point we had had 13 named storms and this year we've already had. Uh, it looks like we will probably add another major hurricane that would bring us to three if Larry does indeed become a major hurricane as expected in the next couple of days. Again, looking forward to the weekend. Little break in humidity. Those North Shore lows in the upper 60s south of the lake lows in the 70s. But again, that slight break in the mugginess should feel pretty good for most of us. I think a lot of people are